Hello, I'm Dan, and in this video, I'm going to cover the Oasis Spa on board PO Cruises Britannia. The Oasis Spa on board Britannia is the very best spa you'll find in the PO fleet, even surpassing the Oasis Spa on board Iona. As lovely as the spa on Iona is, Britannia just has the edge. It's bigger, it has more facilities, and it's the same price. Firstly, the hydrotherapy pool and the thermal suite on Britannia is much larger than what other PO ships offer. The Hydra Pool is significantly larger and is rarely crowded with the 12 passenger limit they currently have in place to use the spa facilities. The Hydrotherapy Pool is heated to body temperature and features overhead rain showers, underwater jets designed to pummel away cellulite, water jets beneath the orthopaedic lounger which is perfectly shaped to align your spine and you have these water jets which make for a very good back massager. The pool edge is lined with heated orthopaedic beds to realign your spine, heated water beds which are incredibly comfortable and you also have a corner sofa if the beds on offer don't take your fancy. The thermal suite comprises a large dry sauna, a traditional steam room and a cold sauna. However, this was out of action during our cruise and no indication was given as to when it would be back up and running. You also have these incredible aromatic tropical rain showers which allow you to select the settings according to your preference. These showers also feature ambient lighting and subtle ambient rainforest sounds too. The Hydrotherapy Pool and Thermal Suite on Britannia is one of the nicest spas we've used at sea, but it's disappointing that they've done away with the full spa days and full cruise packages they used to sell. Also, a full spa day used to cost £40 per person, however now they only sell 2 hour spa slots at £35 per person. This means that P&O have actually hiked the price by around 62%. But why? Well they'll tell you that it's all because of that big C. You know the one I'm talking about. They say that by limiting numbers to 12 and reducing sessions to 2 hour slots rather than the full day, it means that passengers are safer as passengers are able to social distance more effectively. But why haven't P&O got the same concerns about the theatre, the bars and lounges, the pool areas, the main dining, in one word, money? By scrapping the full spa days and charging passengers 88% of the original price, P&O are raking it in. They used to limit numbers before the pools and cruise operations, so there was always social distancing in the Oasis Spa. Before the world went crazy, p and would earn around £500 a day from their spa facilities if it was a busy sea day. But with these big changes, they have the potential to earn £2,500 if they sold every two hour slot. A five-fold increase in profit, eh? I bet p and are quite happy about that. I find this whole thing a real shame, as I'm convinced the spa days on p and and Cunard will be a thing of the past. They'll never reintroduce them as they know that the system they've got now earns them a lot more revenue. The Oasis Bar on board Britannia also has 15 treatment rooms where you can experience the pinnacle and relaxation from LMS facials through to full body massages. Prices are pretty steep but they always have been on cruise ships. But if you'd like to see a really reasonable cruise line that does 60 minutes of treatment time for £64, click the banner in the top right hand corner now. On Britannia, treatment prices range from around £50 up to £180. At those prices, it's a good job they don't add gratuities like some cruise lines do. A tip I would offer though is always make sure before your treatment starts that you insist on the full treatment time that you booked. Spas on cruise ships are infamous for cutting time out your treatment so they can try and sell you beauty products at the end. For example, if you booked a 60 minute massage, I can almost guarantee that they will stop at around 50 minutes so they can try and lumber you with LMS anti-wrinkle cream or whatever. Make it clear in the beginning and you'll get what you've paid for. The Oasis Spa also offers a range of beauty treatments including manicures and pedicures and hair appointments in their state-of-the-art salon if you want to get glammed up for a formal night. So that was my tour and review of Britannia's Oasis Spa. I do hope that you've gained some tips in this video and you give this amazing facility a try. Yes, we're pretty annoyed about the price hikes, but even getting to experience this spa for two hours is definitely worth it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cruise content every week. And if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.